Good morning. Well, I'm not sure what time you're seeing this, but it is a morning for me. The kids are still asleep. It's a couple days after Christmas and I'm finally getting around to filming my Christmas home decor tour. <laughs> whatever you want to call it. I was thinking about starting to clean the house and take it down. I was like, you know what? We're just going to do it. The house is not clean. It's tidy. It's not clean. So just don't look too closely. There's lots of dust everywhere. You guys are going to see it now that I mentioned it. Um, but anyway, I wanted to take you guys through the house while it was still a little bit quiet in the morning. I'm not even through with my first cup of coffee. My eyes are feeling very, very heavy. It's been definitely a fun few weeks. So let me go ahead and we're going to walk to the front door and we'll start there. I mainly just decorated downstairs this year, a couple things upstairs, but I am going to take you upstairs regardless. You're going to see it's a little bit of a mess. After I share with you guys all the Christmas decor, um, I am going to add on just a few things of what the kids got for Christmas once they're up and ready for the day. And I'm sure my hair was sticking out the entire time. I was about to walk to the front and I noticed. Just, we're just gonna go with it today. Okay, the dogs are going to be walking around with us, but I am standing in front of my front door. So this is the view that you get when you walk into our home. Can I just show you guys the garland? It's definitely a little droopy we've been moving some furniture around and knocking into it so it's, it's more droopy than it was well now apparently it's playtime so next year i'm gonna try to figure out something else i don't know i've wrapped it completely i've hung it i've seen people just put it on top of the stair rail so we'll see we'll see what happens next year but that's what i do with it this year kind of just Put it up, threw up, bless you Buford, put some bows on all the like main post areas and then hung some really big wooden ornaments on all the little loop heads or whatever, whatever you want to call it. This guy's new this year. I love him. I needed something here. The last couple years I put a tree here, but I just don't, I don't like the tree here. This is practical for us. So I needed something a little extra to fill this space. So I got this nutcracker and then on our little buffet area here i threw up some decor i got this glass jar from ikea and then i just took some trees and some snow some faux snow and an ornament that my late grandmother painted you can see the here i need to dust <laughs> so i just filled that guy up there and just a few little decor pieces from years past and then I hung this sign up here. You guys can get a glimpse into the living room. Added a bow, this wreath stays up year round. Just added a bow to it. And then when I backtrack over here, this stays up year round. I just changed the faux flowers that I've got in there and just threw a little piece of garland up. All right, so before we go any further, there's no decorations in the office. I did just clip two poinsettias that I found or that I got a couple years ago at the Dollar Tree on there just to make it look a little bit more festive. But if we turn this way, this was my oldest daughter Paige's room. You guys are gonna be really familiar with a lot of the furniture in here because it was upstairs in the room that we had as our guest room. But since she has moved, I we brought all that that stuff down here and now this is our guest room. So when she comes back to visit, she can stay in her room, but she took a lot of her stuff. So it's not like we're keeping her room ready for her. She took a lot of her stuff. She did move out of state. I've gotten a lot of questions over on Instagram and in some videos. Um, Paige loves her privacy. So I am not sharing anything other than she has moved and she is far. So we're not going to be able to see her as often as we used to. All right. So in here, I just kept it simple. I threw up a few little decorations on the little nightstands here. I also just changed out a couple pieces of decor over here to more of the Christmas feel. And then I've got this guy right here. A lot of the stuff actually lights up, but I did not turn everything on. So like these light up, but I was like, nah, it's all right. And then the bathroom, we're still doing some work in here. Like it doesn't have a towel bar right now, but we'll, we'll get to that. So I've got a little Christmas hand towel there. I also made this little jar. I got this jar off of Amazon. It was like a three pack 
So I just did the same thing. I threw a little bell, threw a few bells in there, a tree, and then that is an ornament. And then again, the faux snow, and that's it as far as like Christmas decor in here. Our plans definitely changed. We were going to be hosting this year for the first year in this home. Um, but our house got sick and we were sick for over a week. So a lot of our Christmas plans fell through. I definitely did a lot of Christmas decorating with hosting in mind, but I feel like I decorate a lot anyway. All right, now we're in the dining room and I just added two little bows up there through the garland on here. It is lighted. I don't know if you can tell on the day. And then I've got some reindeer right there. I put the reindeer in here to kind of pull. I hope I'm not moving too fast from these two prints that we have in here. Those are from Ikea. They stay up year round. The table, I did kind of the same thing last year. I took this bowl and took out what I had in there. I took this bowl and normally the bowl is up there year round um, and I just threw some ornaments and some little faux like plants and stuff in there added some ornaments to this <laughs> faux tree this is actually I don't know the last time I shared a home tour or anything but this is a new tree because the other tree that we had in here Oliver was it had like gravel and stuff in it and he was picking at it so I got one that does not have anything that he can you know be enticed with so just threw some ornaments over there and then our little wine cabinet over here or really it's liquor because the wine is in the fridge um but our liquor cabinet over here i got this piece i, I got this last year so it's not new but this is from the hearth and hand line at target a little merry christmas back there these Snowmen, wooden snowmen are actually from Kira. Oh, I cannot remember her dad, her grandpa. Somebody makes these and I, I'm so sorry. I cannot remember who, but she had a ton of them. So she let me have a female and a male snowman. Got a little tree, a wreath, and then these are lit also. These are from the Target dollar spot um, two years ago, I believe. And I just threw some trees up there. All right, we'll continue going this way to our little coffee station. So I did just throw a couple things, a bow. We've got some hot cocoa decor here because we had a party with the girls and their friends. And then I'm definitely gonna change this up. I made it more vi uh, visual maybe, I guess. I don't know. It's not usable. Like these are faux cupcakes, faux cookies. The, I mean, these are usable. You can use these, but the girls loved hot cocoa this year. So next year I'm actually gonna make this into a usable hot cocoa tray instead of just decor. Um, so that way they're, we, we're having to pull out everything every time they want hot cocoa. So I'm gonna try to display it to where everything is here and at their fingertips so they can be more independent because some of this stuff is like a pie in the pantry. So anyway, I love how this turned out. I think it's super cute, but next year it's gonna be more usable. All right, normally these are just all glass mugs, but I did throw up a few of my Christmas ones. And then I have this piece in this room also that I just kind of threw a little bit of decor on. My late grandmother painted that. So I've got that hanging. Oh, and this is just a little hack on doors. If you don't wanna see the hook, you put the hook upside down on the back of the door. And that way you don't see the hook, you just see it hanging. So a little, little tip for you guys. All right, now we're coming into the kitchen. I'll probably stand over there and show you guys. That way I can grab my coffee and take a little sip first. Okay, I actually had a couple sips and Oliver just got finished barking. Somebody's outside, we'll see. Or, you know, something, who knows. All right, so here's the kitchen. I was waiting on filming for so long and then we got sick so it was even further or longer because I was waiting for this area of the kitchen to be done. It's not completely 100% done yet, but it was finished enough for our Christmas party that we never ended up having because, you know, sickness. Obviously, I'm a little bitter about getting sick <laughs> during all of our Christmas plans, but we still had a great holiday season. So this is the decor that I put up in the Christmas, or in the kitchen. I got this piece from World Market a couple years ago. We just added a bow, so it kind of hides the hook there. It does light up. And then coming over here, these pieces are actually all new this year. I got this from Target, Hearth and Handline, 
And then where did I get these trees from? The Dollar Tree, I believe. I got these from the Dollar Tree, I think, yeah. And I was gonna put them in the guest room, but I liked them. This needed something. Obviously, we're out of fruit and veggies that I keep on our tray here. <laughs> it's where it, we're, we're making do until I absolutely have to go to the store because we've got so much stuff on hand. So we are running low on the fresh stuff though. All right, coming over here is our little cookie station or just fresh baked. Actually not, these are all packaged cookies. <laughs> well, those are homemade and then these are homemade muffins, but we've got our little cookie box here. So that there, a little candle. This is more like a show candle. I don't even light it. I don't even know what it smells like. Winter fur, oh, I bet it smells good, but I kind of just put it there. I felt like that corner needed something. This is a plate that Bryce did in school in 2017. So I always set that up in the kitchen. And then coming over here, don't look at my stove top. It definitely needs to be wiped down. Those trees do light up, but I'm not turning the lights on. So I just kind of just added a couple Christmassy touches to the shelves here. Those little houses also. Oh, and then I do have, I don't use these, they're just here for decor, but I've got the little spatula and a green whisk there for a little touch of Christmas decor. And then this is where all of our advent calendars were, um, but all the disposable ones are have you know obviously already been thrown away. This is one that we got at a Christmas shop in Fredericksburg that I use. And then I'm gonna keep this one because it's made really well. This I got at Sam's, I believe. I don't, I think it was Sam's, not Costco, but it was for the dogs. But it's such good quality that, I mean, it's just cardboard, but it's pretty good quality. Oh, I don't know if this one opens or not. I don't, I don't think that one opens, but all the number ones do. I'm gonna use this next year for the dogs. I'm just gonna save it and fill it with my own stuff and that's gonna be fun. So <laughs> keeping that. So this is the piece that everybody's been waiting on. It's been the same paint as those cabinets, same hardware, uh, same backsplash. We just didn't wanna pay for a full slab knowing that we only needed that amount. So we just went with butcher block. I do need to treat it though. We have not been using it other than, you know, having the advent calendar set up there. So I need to treat that. And then we still need to put our under cabinet lighting in there. So everything else has been done which is nice those are just sitting on the floor because i'm gonna hang those up i think on the wall there all right coming into mark and i's bedroom or mark and my bedroom just a few things in here and it's you know messy that's where the dogs lay or <laughs> sleep so i threw some garland around our headboard and then of course our christmas bedding that stays up year round <laughs> i need bigger pieces obviously this is a big wall but i kind of you know I, I like the look of that it just looks so tiny and then over here all i did there's nothing on our bookcases here i just threw up through some trees in the corner there and then i changed out our candle so that's it as far as in here and then just a little bit in our bathroom as well i changed out our shower mat added some trees and deer on this ledge here. I also added some trees around Mark's favorite candle. He loves this scent, or not really like candle, just the scent, the mahogany teakwood. And then I also have some Christmas tree um, hand towels along with this sign, right? Yeah. I almost wanna keep this up year round because I love it so much, but it's definitely very, you know, holiday-esque. So maybe I can find another sign similar to that. Nothing on my vanity other than the same Christmas tree or tree, winter tree hand towel uh, because Polly, Polly's setup is there, our cat. So I can't put any Christmas decor there. Okay, we're gonna walk back this way. Hi, you making yourself comfortable in the bed? Because I have not taken you into the living room yet. And we're gonna make a pit stop so I can take another drink of my coffee. Okay, here is our living room. Our couch somehow got disconnected from Oliver jumping on it. <laughs> so we need to put that back together. Again, a lot of the stuff that I have on the shelves lights up, or not a lot, but a couple pieces. I just didn't turn them on, but I did turn on the garland and 
the lights or the candles. So I did get new stockings this year. Because Paige moved, I sent her with her stocking that she's had as a child here in the house. So I filled it this year, my last year filling that stocking and I mailed it to her. And so she'll always have a stocking here though when she comes home and we'll always hang that up. So I've got some new stockings there a few little items on the coffee table our tree i did not even put a topper on the tree this year nope i just love the simplicity of the tree so no topper we'll see if i go back to it next year um not too much going on over here but i did string this little garland with the metal snowflakes along the piano We've got some nutcrackers that my grandmother painted. This normally is a sign, it, it almost looks exactly like this. It's got the white um, background with the wooden frame and the black metal, but it says this is us, and I just switch it out the last few Christmases um, to this Merry Christmas sign. And then over here, I pretty much take everything down that's up year round and put up Christmas stuff. This year I left a couple things and just added a few Christmas touches. So I just, you know, threw up a couple things to make it more Christmassy. Here's a closer look at our stockings and tags. These tags I got last year after Christmas, so they were marked down um, from a shop on Jane dot com so or it's an app too jane has an app so i've been waiting since last christmas to be able to use those and then over here same thing i just kind of put up some christmas decor on our shelves and then this guy is so fragile i wasn't sure where to put him so he's just hanging out here this year all right if i turn this way we've got um, this tree I got last year also on clearance from Ikea, I believe, and it can hold Christmas cards, although they keep falling off. So those are the ones that have not fallen off. And then upstairs, I do have the garland here. You can see some furniture. We took out um, Rose's bunk bed. She has a new bed because we're just not fans of bunk beds. They're just, no, too hard to make all around. And then I do have some artwork up there on the wall. So we'll go ahead and walk up there. I'll show you guys just a little bit. It's a hot mess upstairs. I did not do a quick pickup like I did down here. All right, just kidding. I forgot a spot down here. Our guest bathroom. So just very minimal in here. I threw this reindeer here. I thought it needed something. Another little Christmas towel. And then we have shelves in here that I just added a little Christmas decor to what we already had in here. Okay, upstairs, I just added a little piece to this wooden piece that I have here that stays up year round. I just added that snowflake. I'll show you guys the view from up here. I already turned all the lights off down there. <laughs> So Bryce's bathroom, last year I did something different, like I changed his entire bathroom. And since this is the main bathroom, or this is his bathroom, it's just also a bathroom that you know friends, guests that are upstairs use. I went a little bit more of a boy route this year. So I didn't change out his rugs, they stay black. I just got this shower curtain that had plenty of gray and not as colorful. <laughs> it did come with these Santa hooks. And I think last year I had like bows on here. I didn't do that. The only other thing, I think I also had like a special hand soap pump. I didn't do that, but I did, or this came with the shower curtain, uh, a couple of these. So that's all I did in his bathroom. And then on this wall leading into the game room and what was the guest room, I just put these two pieces. Normally when we don't have furniture right here, <laughs> it looks good when you're looking upstairs from downstairs. Like I said, I already turned all the lights off, but there's the view of the living room from upstairs. Okay, we'll go in here in a minute, but this is what was our guest room. And we moved everything down. Now it's the um, Oculus and drone room. <laughs> because it's so empty. We're not 100% sure yet 
what we're gonna do in here, I did go ahead and get new curtains because I took the white curtains downstairs to go in that guest room. So I picked these curtains up to match the wall. So um, this is one Christmas present. The Oculus was last year. The kids got that last year for Christmas. These are blow up beds because the kids have had a fun time in here since it's been empty. But Bryce did get a drone. This is one of his gifts for Christmas. He's practicing in the house before we let him take it outside. It does capture, it can videotape, or it can film. It has a camera on there, it links to your phone, all the good things. So he did get that as a gift from a family member. Nothing else going on in here. This room is not decorated for Christmas. I have just a few pieces here. These do light up, but I did not turn the lights on. And then this is the game room. So depending on what we do with this room, this room might change over the next month or two, but we're not 100% sure yet. So right now, we've just got, I mean, we've, we've got multiple kids. They all have friends that come over. So we have two setups here with um, Nintendo Switch and the PlayStation, so they can, you know, all do their own thing. This does pull out into a bed if they wanted to sleep in here, so. That's a little setup here. I did have a Christmas sign up here, but it fell down. <laughs> I'm glad it didn't fall down on the TV because that would have been rough. Next year I'll use nails if I want to hang it up again, but I'll, it's, it's back there. Um, other than that, what did I do Christmassy in here? I think just this side of the room other than that sign. So this is the kid's tree. They got to, we decorated earlier this year than any other year I have in the past because Paige was moving. I wanted all the kids to be able to decorate the tree together. So this is the kid's tree with all their ornaments. They each get a new ornament each year. I kind of go off of a theme of what they liked that year and my camera definitely does not like this tree. It is not focusing, but we've got the fun topper that makes like the galaxy print on the ceiling there. And like I said, this tree is just all ornaments that they have received over the past several years and also homemade ornaments. So a few of these like Paige made this with her grandmother or her Mimi is what she calls her. This is pearls from this year because she's into dinosaurs. So this is the ornament that she got from Mark and I this year. Um, Rose, this is from a few years ago, really into lions. So just various. Here's a homemade one from Pearl that she made in school and brought home. Let's see, what else do we have here? Is this Bryce? <laughs> Here's Bryce and this one that either Paige or my grandmother painted. I'm not quite sure, but we've just got a mixture on here. Oh, here's roses. That's funny, from this year, Stranger Things. They're both, Rose and Pearl are def both into Stranger Things. I'm not sure where Bryce's is for this year. I don't know where he, he put it. I can't find it. I don't see it. So anyway, that's the fun tree. And then we've definitely been utilizing this table for all sorts of things. So it's just jam packed right now. I did not clean up up here, like I mentioned. So that's that. Um, this, the kids didn't really use this year, so I probably won't hang it up next year. I'll put it in the donate pile, but it's just a little, um, countdown to Christmas. This, we didn't finish, so I'll either have the kids come in here and we'll try to finish it, or I'll roll it up and put it up again next year. But I also, this is something I also got last year after Christmas on clearance from, um, the Jane app, and it is just a Christmas word find. So the kids have just done a few over you know the course of the month and then i threw up this is something i won't do next year either because it was they kept falling as we were getting games out but i put up some decor on these shelves and like i said they kept falling as we were getting games and stuff so i won't do that next year and then i just added some nutcrackers up there so not not too much this room is definitely super busy but it is a game room and with three three kids at home that always have friends over it definitely gets utilized a lot so that's that's it though as far as christmas decor this was the last room oh let me show you this sign real quick because it's super cute i got it from target last year i believe and i'll just set it up here it says oh what fun i thought that was cute in here 
Okay, we are in Bryce's room now and the only thing he asked for for Christmas was a computer. So that's basically what he opened <laughs> here at the house. He opened all the parts. Uh, he and Mark built it. Took about two days, Mark did a lot of it. Um, it looked very frustrating as they were building it and making it work and all that. So he got all the components to build the computer, this whole setup. So he just opened a whole bunch of computer stuff. He did get a few extra things from, you know, family members and stuff like that. So he's got some of the items here. He got some Demon Slayer Lego figures. He got some other figures. We're going to get some shelves put up over here so he can display those. And then, let's see, he got this big box of Pokemon cards, and let's see, uh, what else did he get? You guys already saw, his bed needs to be made, his refrigerator that he got from his siblings. Oh, and then one other thing he really wanted, these were in his stockings, were the little charms to go on his Crocs. So he's got several put on here, but he got two big bags in his stockings so he can switch those out whenever he wants so those are just a few items that Bryce got but the main one like I said all he wanted for Christmas was a computer um, so that's what he got okay now we're in Pearl's room she's not sharing her gifts either because apparently something cool is happening on Bryce's computer right now so she is in there but she got this blanket which has all sorts of dinosaurs on it so she was excited about that. Um, one of her bigger gifts from a family member is this printer. So it Bluetooth connects to her phone and she can print out pictures. We haven't connected it just yet. So she's got that. She got this little acrylic desk organizer for all of her stuff up here. You guys already saw, or if you haven't, she got a mini fridge also from her siblings, one of her big gifts is she wanted a crested gecko. So this is the setup for that. We're still, it's a learning process, getting that temp and humidity right. He's still a little nervous. We've only had him for a couple days and I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see him. He has been loving hanging out behind this log right here. So that was her main her main gift, like her most expensive gift, was that whole thing. And then she got some books. All of these books right here are from Christmas. So she got some Stranger Things chapter books and a set of anime, or not anime, mangas. Um, it's Attack on Titan. So she got that set. And then I think she got, yeah, a couple figures also. So this is what Paige sent her. Oh, Paige sent Bryce some Pokemon cards. This is what Paige sent her. This is from, I don't remember her name, but she is from Demon Slayer. And then Pearl is obsessed with Dustin. She loves Dustin so much from Stranger Things. So she's got a little Funko Pop figure of him. And then I know she's got some more Funko Pops on this thing from Christmas. Here we go. And then she got some Jurassic World Funko Pops. So... That's just a few items that Pearl got. And now, last but not least, is going to be Rose. Okay. <laughs> just Hi. <laughs> All right. Now we're in Rose's room. Pretty sure she slept in that last night. <laughs> and she's still like, no, I don't want to. I'm tired. Um, she's got a remote. She just turned the TV off. So this was her, like, biggest gift for Christmas is this hanging pod it can be indoor or outdoor it actually has lights on the inside also that she can turn on so um she is in there sleeping <laughs> um this was not a christmas present but like i said we were just tired of the whole uh having bunk bed thing so she's got a day bed with a trundle so when friends come over let's see also for christmas she got this poster oh all the kids got calendars we just don't have Bryce or pearls up so roses is stranger things she got a little acrylic desk organizer as well um, she also got a little printer it's down there in one of those bins for her phone but coming over here she's got a lot of her little items set up so she got some stranger things this is so cool it came from my parents 
if they got it off of Amazon, I will try to find it because it is such a neat pop-up book for any Stranger Things fan. Like, it is so cool. Um, Rose sat and went through that for a very, very long time. It's really neat. She got some pop figures. This one was from Paige. So she's got the upside down. She also got Erica, the sister here. She got a lot of stitch items. So she's got some figures and some stuffed animals. And then here's some more Stranger Things. She's got the little, what are these called? Russian dolls, but they, you know, get smaller and they fit inside each other. So she's got that set. She got the light bright. She got a blanket also, a stitch blanket. You can see it on her arm there. <laughs> So, all the stitch things, but that's all I can think of that she, like, has out that she got for Christmas. Other than, like, you know, they all got some clothes. Those are put up. All right, you guys. So, that is how our house looked for Christmas. A few items. I tried to share as much as I could see that was out in the kids' room on what they received. I hope you guys had a great holiday. We do have... Uh, just about a week before the kids go back to school. It is just under a week before the kids go back to school. It is Thursday now. I'm hoping to edit and put this up today. So hopefully it's in live time. Um, but the kids go back next Wednesday. So they still have a few more days off from school for us to just relax. I am going to start taking Christmas down, getting the house clean because it's picked up, but it's not clean. It's dirty. We've got like furniture to get taken down. All the things I've got a long to-do list, but isn't it always when you know you own your home and you've got kids running around and all the things so with that i hope you guys have a fantastic day give this video a big thumbs up and i will see you in the next one bye